Because, well, there's a couple of reasons. I'm 24, and I know that doesn't seem that old, because it's not, but I never thought I would make it this far. It's a very dark thought, Rachel. <laughs> the point is, is I no longer look forward to my birthdays. And Mother Nature decided to give me a present. They call it riding the cotton pony. Ants flow, being on the rag, if you get my drift. I was not happy, and I think the only reason why I don't have cramps is because I took ibuprofen to cure the headache that I had, which went away. But that means that I'm probably going to be woken up tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock a.m. dying from cramps. The first and second day are always the worst. But since technically this started in the afternoon, it's like 0.5 day. I'm a genius. Okay, so we actually got a quite a bit of stuff, and that's why I had to do a mail time. At first I only had like a couple of letters. Now, I received this one in June, so Julia, I am sorry that this is so late, but we're going to open them in order from when I got them, so let's start with this one, shall we? Ugh, crap, I don't know which one to do. Amy, my mo, can't you tell your father's toe if you always let him go? My llama says to pick the very best one and you are not penis. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, looks like a little comic. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I'll scan it and put the picture up on the screen because doing the showy thing just, it just won't work, so. I'm so happy, I'm so happy that I'm lucky me. I just go my way, living every day. But it's adorable! I assume that's your little character. It's so cute. So, the bear, his name is Dominic. What's the rabbit's name? Will I find out? Ooh! Aww. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go! Dear Raytana Station, hello, my name is Julia, and you have amazing handwriting. <laughs> Unlike mine. And yes, I know your name is Kara. Taylor told me and made me swear up and down not to tell anyone else. It's not really a sacred, but I think it's really nice, actually. Also, if you don't remember me on DeviantArt, I am Julius P667. I remember you. The reason I haven't been on is because, well, I'm 11. Oh my god! When I was 11, my handwriting was like absolutely unreadable. Like if you've ever seen, I'm not gonna say every boy has messy handwriting, but a lot of boys have messy handwriting. I have what I call boys handwriting. It actually looks a lot like Mike's handwriting. And it says anyone under 13 can't have an account. But it's only temporary! So when I'm 13, I can get on again. At least I can send you art via mail. I was actually wondering what other comics you do besides Anateer, Derpy's Muffins, and Playing With Fire. The only comics I do are my Julia Rabbit ones. <sighs> Julia Rabbit comics are based on what happens or what I wish would happen at school, home, anywhere. I used to do that too! The characters are people, at home, school, anywhere. I was also hoping you can send me a pic of Anna Tear and Raytana hanging out at a video game arcade. Aww. Thanks! And one final question. Have you ever heard of Smosh? Yes, I have heard of Smosh. If you haven't already, you should watch it because it's totally hilarious. And she included her school photo. <laughs> You're so cute! Please write back. That makes me feel so guilty that I didn't answer this earlier. Crap duda. Yes, if you haven't, watch Smile HD. Of course I've seen Smile HD. Wait a second. He's using the spirit ball! 
spinach wants it now? Would you stop screaming? The spirit bomb is the only thing that can kill- Fluttershy. Oh. Okay, well, if you're not watching this, I will write you back. And if you are watching this, I'm sorry it took so long. I feel so bad! Lately, I have decided that I will take no requests, no commissions of art or anything, unless I do a contest, which I haven't done in a really long time. But since, for one, this was sent before, I decided not to do requests or commissions. And I took so long to answer it, I will draw that picture, and I will send it to you, Julia. Alright, next, 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 next. You're 11 and you're watching my videos. If you're watching my videos, I curse a lot. I have a lot of underage viewers. Like, really underage. Like, 10. I am going to say this as an adult, and I know you guys don't want to hear this because it's so momish. Not Amish, momish. But considering the fact that I do curse in my videos and say very inappropriate things, I personally don't necessarily approve approve of such young underages watching my content, but obviously there's nothing I can do about it. Ten is pretty young, and I'm also, there are parents out there who do blame the things that kids are watching or listening to or playing, and not realizing that it's not the media's fault. Like Grand Theft Auto. Parents made a huge deal about kids playing it, saying that they will end up stealing cars and shooting people and stuff. Well, if somebody ends up stealing a car and shooting people and just happened to be playing Grand Theft Auto, it's not the game's fault. It's rated M. The rating is right there. So I just don't want some of those dumb, <laughs> for lack of a better word, parents to be all like, Oh my god, Rajana, you taught my kids how to say bad words! Well, I am gonna say this, because since I do have a rather large young audience, and I'm surprised because when I was 10, I wasn't allowed on the internet at all, except for certain sites, like I would, uh, I had this little mascot pet of Dino from the Flintstones that you could pet and stuff, and it was so cute, but I spent most of my time playing games and drawing on Microsoft Paint! When I was allowed on the internet, it was dial-up AOL! <laughs> and you couldn't pick up the phone because it was dial-up. And, you know, there, there were parental controls and stuff. So I was only allowed in certain chat rooms, certain sites. YouTube? Definitely not. I don't even know when YouTube came out. I'm gonna have to look into that. I don't know if YouTube even existed when I was first on the interwebs. How old was I, 12? Ah, uh, 12. When I thought that the word sex was an inappropriate word. Anyway, enough of reminiscing. If there's anything you underages want to do that I do, want to mimic what I do, I'm straight edge. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. My code of honor is honesty. I don't lie. I'm not saying I've never lied. That would be impossible. But my code of honor has definitely grown over the years to where I do not lie, except to myself. I'm trying not to do that. So, if you're gonna mimic anything I do, don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal, don't do drugs, don't drink, don't smoke. Marijuana counts as drugs. Any argument is invalid. But don't start cursing just because I curse. I honestly didn't start cursing until I was... 14? Except for the word crap and damn in hell. That, I think I started when I was 13. I don't remember. Just don't mimic the bad things I do! Anyway, back to stuff. I'm a kitty cat! Yay! Oh! Oh yay, good, you can see it. I'm a kitty cat and my bow is a fish. Hair clip is a fish. That's adorable. Oh my god. I'm a kitty cat. Cut! I'm a kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Cut! I'm a kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. I say sexy things to myself when I'm dying on sin. Last one. The illusion of art. Oh! <laughs> it's one of those. I've been wanting to do one of these for a long time. Where it's a picture. But it's the same picture, within a picture, within a picture, within a picture, within a picture! That's adorable. I love it. Mm. 
don't be like me and give up on your comics with your characters. I did that with Jan and All Evil Things Fuzzy and Five Pints of Liquid Styrofoam and God knows what else. Okay, so that was from Julia. Yeah, I'm Sorry it took so long. The guilt. The guilt. I will write you back. So this one on the envelope actually said don't open until November 8th or after, but obviously that meant it was a birthday card and because it didn't have a return address, I suspected that it might have been something from an unwanted sender certain person in mind, but it's not! It is from Lich King Ozma. I have a string on my glove that I do not want. Since I opened it, I, I put tape on the back because I stuck it on my wall because <laughs> I thought it was cute. Happy birthday! I love it. As soon as I saw it, can you focus? As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, that's so cute. A little gift for you. Shameless smut ahead. He drew Damien and Nathaniel. I don't know if you can see it. So kawaii. Please don't nosebleed on this card. It would be very sad. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> here's a sad man. Now go smack someone with it. Cupcake flavored cupcake. Ah, uh, no. Hello, Kara. I hope you have a wonderfully happy birthday. You too, Anateer. <laughs> yes, that's Muria on, I hope I pronounced that right, on the front, but that's not the point. You are awesome, pretty, cute, funny, and awesome. Did I say that already? I hope you like the thing I drew for you with lots of love, Lich King Ozma. And then on the back, you alone can make my song take light. Will you help make the music of the night? Oh, uh, yay. I'm gonna stick this back in my wall. Next! Let's do this like prudence! Ah, kawaii! Is this canvas paper? Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's so kawaii! Love you. Dear Raytana, you are a big inspiration to me. You got me into creepypastas! Love you! Jasmine364. That's so cute. I remember doing stuff like this when I was in sixth grade. We did stuff like that. I don't remember what the class was called. This fell out of the card! Oh my god, it's my little Virgil Chibi! <laughs> is this my Virgil Chibi? I will put my original on the screen. Sembites! He looks like little Shiro off Bleach. I know, doesn't he? <laughs> you mad, bro? Made in Penland. Yaoi or Yuri. Playing with fire. My hose, my hose, my hose cut before bros! <laughs> Sign here if you like. <laughs> Fuck this, I want chocolate. <laughs> I got bored in school. Aw, I'm not gonna read that one out loud, but. <laughs> I am a dot. Hi Ben, you shouldn't have done that. LSD, Sticky the Female Madman, Virgil. Aw. But I want to keep this! I'm gonna sign it anyway, but you can't has. I wanna keep this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next! This is from the original Ray Tonite. Thomas Barron. It's curly. Open it, open it, open it! Lady Sticky, Nemo, and Freedom Apple! Yo, HP! Sup, Free Doodles? I feel like having a party! Well, let's light it up. Light it on fire! I'm the Freedom Apple, and I'm Hollywood Pillow. The level of the arsonist is kinda hard to swallow. I am not a rapper. I see the word boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, oh, thought that'd get your attention. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kara. Sorry I wasn't able to get you a real birthday present. This says boobies. This is a real birthday present. <laughs> but money is tight right now. Yes. I know. Happy birthday. I hope it's a good one. Love you so much. Stay awesome. Yes, <laughs> the cake is not a lie. It's just true. Little picture. Kawaii. And the cake. It's not a lie. <laughs> uh, if I didn't want to ruin the drawing so bad, I'd cut that out and post it on my on my wall. Maybe I'll just put the entire card on the wall too. Boom! <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you for the twenty dollars. It really does help, and it's going into my. I don't know if you remember the mail time where I opened the monster coin purse. That's where this is going. To be safe until money is no longer tight. White chocolate Kit Kat. Just thought I'd show you that. Last, but certainly not least. This is why I decided to do a mail time. It's from Kelsey. Watch out! Oh my god! 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 I see pony wings. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Hanya! I'm a letter. Oh my god! Must refrain from showing stuff first. Have to read the letter. Oh, paperclip! Hey, Tana, why are you so excited about a paperclip? Because there are a lot of things you can do with paperclip, okay? Dear Ray Ray, happy birthday. I hope this letter and this box of crap finds you well and in high spirits. Also, hopefully it gets there on time, or at least close to on time. Damn you, U.S. Postal Service. Any hoozle, congrats, you're another year older. This isn't a bad thing because with you, age comes new experiences. Some great, some not so great. But you lose stuff too, like going in playrooms at restaurants. I think that they should make a playroom. It would probably be really expensive to construct, but a playroom specifically for adults who still want to play, who still want to go to the ball pit, who still want to slide down those plastic slides and crawl through plastic boxes and stuff like that. Come on, yo. A lot of us are still kids on the inside. I mean, God knows how many toys I have. <laughs> I can actually reach down right now and pull out a toy. Let's see what I get. Snorlax. Well, you can still do that, but people give you weird looks. And they're not constructed to hold our weight, sadly enough. And trick-or-treating. But good thing I'm giving you a big-ass bag of candy to make up for that injustice! Because like most of DA and YouTube, I love you, Ray. Also love Hyper Ray, too. Ray! But anyway, the crap in the box. Side note, crap in the box. Horrible child's toys ideas. Okay, back on point. Blushies, because I know you love them. And a necklace with a peace sign on it. And candy! And the crappy Slenderman picture I drew. I don't think it looks that great, but it's still pretty cool. Hopefully you like it. I have to sneeze. Like it says in the heading, happy birthday, Ray. And like my fave author says, DFTBA. Sincerely love, Kelsey. Don't forget to be awesome. P.S. I remember you talking about weird yaoi pairings. I found a messed up one. Oh god, Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> Let that image sink in. I don't want to sleep anymore. Okay, let's see how the Slender Man picked up. Slender Man is always watching. <laughs> that is kawaii. You can't have this. Okay, yeah, then it. So first, I want to show you my friends that I already have. Bald Pinkie Pie and Bald Fluttershy. I still haven't done the mains. I have the fabric thanks to another Ray Tonite, but I still haven't done it. And then, Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy. Now the reason why I wanted to pull Fluttershy out is because it looks to me like I have another Fluttershy! Pinkie Pie is my favorite and Fluttershy is my second favorite. I don't know why, but I think that's because I can relate to both of them. I'm like Pinkie Pie because I can be happy, 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 and then, you know, like in Party of One, really and Fluttershy is my shy side, which comes out in public a lot. Honestly, if I were to meet any of you in person, it would take quite a bit for me to not be- One, two, three, four! Happy, happy birthday! 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 Happy for not thinking ahead and being a dumbass. Okay, so for whatever reason, my camera can only go up to 30 minutes if I have it on MP4 mode. And I don't like putting it on the other modes because they take up so much space. And so, though I've cut a lot out, believe it or not, it did go to a half an hour and I did not notice that it stopped record yawning. So we missed the best reactions of the entire video. I'm so mad. 
Happy birthday. I should have opened the package first. <laughs> okay, to continue from what I was saying, Fluttershy is my shy side. I'm shy. If I were to meet you in real life, it would probably take me a lot to open up to you. I would probably avoid looking right in your eyes, and I would be very quiet and awkward. That's just how I am. Now, I can't recreate the reactions I had to the stuff in the box, but I can at least explain them. Adorable bunny with adorable dress and adorable flower. When I saw it, I was like, Gah! and I wanted to snuggle it, but I don't want to get foundation all over its pretty fur. And I named it Irene because I used to have a roleplay character whose favorite color was ice blue. And so the color reminds me of that. So the bunny's name is Irene. <gasps> and then there's a puppy that kind of looks like a bug. So I named him Puppy Bug. He kind of reminds me of a bug. This is Willy. He actually came with that name. Willy. I live in a field of wildflowers. I love partying with my friends and listening to music. And I can't understand a word he says. It's so disgustingly adorable. This bunny's name, I named it after, in my fanfiction, a muffin side story that has not been released yet, not even on DeviantArt, one of Bab's classmates is named Candy Cotton. So that's what I'm naming this bunny. Now this is the reason why I am so angry. Because I had the greatest reaction to this one. I literally screamed when I saw this. Plessel. I was a mess of squealing and screaming and oh my God, I'm, so I'm so mad. I don't have a Minun, but I have a Plessel. And her name is Prissy. My Minun would be named Missy. I made a, a list of all the Pokemon that I would have in real life if Pokemon were real. And both my Minun and Plessel are females, and we got Prissy and Missy. Missy, Prissy. <laughs> so is my Plessel. I have the best reaction to you. I did. I, I opened it, and as soon as I saw this, and I was like, ah! <laughs> so mad. I choose you, Plessel. And then there's a necklace with a peace sign and pretty little beads. And this is made out of shell, you can tell because it has nacre on it. Shing shing ling ling shing shing. And a pashmina scarf. Now I like these scarves because they're very versatile. They can be a scarf, they can be a thing that goes over your head. I have a pink one and I have an orange one. I also use them as belts. Because <laughs> I'm a dork like that. Yes, this goes so well with my attire. Bully! When I figured it out the camera stopped, I actually thought that when I pressed record, it didn't press all the way. So I was like, oh no, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. So I was clutching inside this bag is a wish bean that was sent to me by Thomas Barron. He sent me a bag of wish beans. And I looked on the internet, and they can also be used not just to wish upon, but also as a good luck charm. So I gave one to Senpai also. I made one of these little bags for Senpai. So when I was transferring the video to my computer to check and make sure that it got the first half hour, I was clutching this going, please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Please don't do this to me. I was lucky enough to at least have gotten through most of it, but otherwise, these letters, and these presents, and these amazing, just, they made my birthday a lot better than I expected it to be. One of the things is, is that because of my agoraphobia, Mike and I can't do the thing that we've done for the past three years, which has become tradition for my birthday, and that is to go to the mall and eat at Red Robin. They have the best veggie burger! So I think that's one of the many reasons I wasn't looking forward to my birthday. But, you know what? The fact that you guys care, and these letters show me that you guys follow me! Like, you guys know! The, the, the... Hang on. The, this one, from Jasmine. The quotes! My host, my host, my host. Come
come before bros and the fuck this I want chocolate and where where else was there the I support beep and beep Yahweh what the hell is wrong with me and hi Ben you shouldn't have done that and just all this stuff all of this and the senpites too senpai's gonna be really happy about that it, I don't know it's just it's really nice I have self-confidence issues it wouldn't be so bad right now if I wasn't having trouble trying to reach my doctor due to the incompetence of that office's secretary. She is the biggest bitch and I have been trying to get a hold of my doctor for months, not days, not weeks, months. But this isn't the first time. I've had trouble contacting my doctor through her for the past year? Two years? I don't know! I shouldn't have this much trouble, especially when my doctor specifically told me in person if you need anything, call me. Well, I can't get a hold of you because the office is secretary, the one person I ever freaking end up talking to, is an incompetent bitch. <laughs> So I don't know when weekly videos are going to come back because of this whole medication situation. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if the physical withdrawals from not having the medication were really bad. So bad that I can't keep food down, I'm bedridden, and it just is the most miserable experience. And with the certain medications I'm on, the withdrawals could clear up within weeks to a month. Ah, how could this happen to me? So, because I keep my promises, I'm not gonna make a promise that I probably won't be able to keep. I don't know when weekly videos will be up. They will, they will be up, but I don't know when. As for the next page of Playing With Fire, remember I said that I 100% promised that the next page would be up once I posted the side story with Babs. For muffins. Now because I haven't posted that, I have not broken my promise, because Raytana does not break promises. It's part of the code of honor of honesty. Honesty, honestly, it isn't that hard. Maybe you thought your lies could get you far. Anyway, the reason why it hasn't been posted is because it was longer than I expected it to be. That's what she said. And I just, it's, it's good. I'm very proud of it. And so I've been reading it and rereading it and rereading it to make sure that it's good enough to go out. And I've actually, for the narration that I don't know when will be posted after I post it on DeviantArt, I've recorded all the dialogue. I haven't finished editing the dialogue. While recording narrations, I find a lot of typos and stuff, and I'm like, why the hell didn't they even make any sense? So I need to record the actual narration part of it. I believe that would count as my last proofread because when you read it out loud that's when you catch the most stuff and I think after I do that then it'll be good enough to post. But I've also been recording Power Snuffed. I'll let you guess what kind of grim dark that's gonna be. I'm actually really proud of it. I don't remember what made me want to do it but I'm really really proud of it. And the fact that I just I have so many things I put way too much on my plate, and that's why I stress myself out. Hobbies really shouldn't stress you out, but... Raytana does not know how to relax. Trust me, I've tried everything. Within the past 10, 15 years, I've tried everything. Have you tried cocaine? So, I apologize, Kelsey, for the fact that my camera decided to be a douchebag, and you did not get my real, genuine reactions. <laughs> I'm so mad! Wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. You could cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in. And my voice cracked when I was singing that again. But I bet you understand. So make sure to subscribe, spread the word of awesome, and become a Raytonite. For those of you who are new, spreading the word of awesome means to get your friends to subscribe and become Raytonites as well. So I don't know what's going to be uploaded next, but when I upload something, I will see you then. Okay, bye bye. This is boobies. This is a real birthday present. <laughs> Number four, condoms would be sold in the same aisles as beans.
Number five. Miley Cyrus would get on stage humping a foam finger. Wait, that already happened. 